Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of my 30 Days to Die series. So it's the morning of day 29. We've got today and then tomorrow and then the horde's going to show up. So um, I started making some more iron spike traps. So let those go. Um, but today we're going to try and hit that hospital in the desert biome, as I said yesterday. And as I showed you guys at the end of the last episode, uh, I put the iron doors up here just to give us a bit more reinforcement. We knew we were going to do this at, at before, but uh, now we got the iron doors up. Uh, most likely I'll reinforce those, but not right now. We are going to leave here. Uh, oh yeah, also too, out here, I removed our little patio here. So now the zombies can't easily get up here. They have to, like, this is two blocks high. So they might get up, they might not. I couldn't put the door on the outside, unfortunately. It wouldn't let me. So I had to put it on the inside, which means they can actually get onto this platform, which is kind of annoying. So I might put a few spikes down here just to deter them. Eh, we'll see how it goes. I'm not really, I don't think they'll actually ar arrive there at all anyway. So um, here in zombies outside, let's put these on before we leave. Oh, there's one. What's up, girl? So there was a bunch of zombies that arrived last night. I think it was a wandering horde. They wrecked some spikes over there, definitely. Um, but we're going to get on our bike here. We're, first thing we're going to do uh, is turn off the helmet light. Or turn off the shotgun light. Change the shotgun around, turn off the helmet light. We are going to go out. Um, I probably should close that inner door, though. You know, knowing my luck... If I don't close this inner door, I'll come home and there'll be a wandering horde in my base. All right. Um, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over. I've only got a, enough to make 140 more gunpowder, which isn't a lot. Uh, but I did have 120 shotgun rounds still in my um, my uh, chests inside. So I, I loaded up with those today. So we got tons of shotgun rounds. Got like 143 backup rounds or something. I don't know if these guys are respawned here or not. I don't think so. There's a biker. Dude. Oh, you sound disgusting. You do not deserve me to waste ammo on you. And good night. Okay. Still. Um, don't think we'll need that much, but we're going to leave it going. 248, eh? There we go. Perfect. Let's not waste the wood unless we have to. I'm not staying for you. Um... So we're going down to the desert biome today, and we are going to get us some, hopefully one more beaker. I'd love to have that extra beaker today, but chances are, I don't know. After going through the popping pills, a lot of pill cases and only getting one, I don't, I'm not really hopeful that we'll get it out of this. But, alright, let's get a kill count going. We did not bring our cold weather clothing. Meh. We'll be in the desert soon enough. I hope. Still haven't found any zombies though. It's been quiet out here. I passed one deer. And I'm not going to run over a deer. Not at this point. We don't need the food, so... Um... No, it's not this place. There's a place that's got a, um... What's it called? A, uh... I can't remember what the name of the thing is. It's like a... Oh my god, the sawmill. Sorry. There's, there is a house that's got an actually working sawmill in it. Um, and I can't remember what it looks like. I think it's got wood piles on the side. I know it's got chairs on the front porch. Alright. So, I think we're off a bit to the right here. Sorry. Hospital's off a bit to the left here. <laughs> There we go, there's our entrance. Apparently we're still cold. Okay, not anymore. 
All right, see if that bird followed us. No, it doesn't seem so. Just go down. Okay, let's make sure we kill the guys out here. There's the bird. Come on, Mo, stay still. Oh, you... There you go. Alright, let's finish him up. Welcome to the game, Mo. Oh, sorry. Is he coming or is he just going to stay there? Yeah, here he comes. Zero and in. Zero and in. Yeah, I got wise to you this time, but I still missed you. Come on. There you go. Get some. Alright, let's go in this way. Again. Going to see if we can ninja this again. And not mess it up this time. Shh. Here it goes. Our helmet light's off. That pill case is broken. Wake up. Thank you for bringing my arrow back. Appreciate it. Nobody behind the desk this time. Mm, I should have just shot him in the ass. Shot in the belly button. Okay, it's this guy down. We got a couple of stills here. Let's clear this floor. We'll search it. Because if we get what we want, we're leaving. Man, I'd love for more loot bags, too. Okay. We could hit up the basement, though. We haven't done the basement in this place. That's the first time I've seen someone looking like that. Like a doctor? Looks like a doctor or something. Wonder if they hear me in here killing people. Or if it's just somebody out there ooh, wandering around. Man, I hate these small bathrooms where you don't know if there's somebody behind there. Okay, let's loot the shiz. I'm only going to loot the medical stuff. Well, oh God. Chances of a beaker being in here are like almost zero. Oh, we got a level out of it. So, can't say no. Hooray, we got soup. A little bit of toilet water. Um... Uh, I don't know what our leather situation is back at home. What are you banging on? Wow, that's got a lot of hit points. Good luck with that, guys. Alright, let's grab this leather in here. Alright, now we got pill cases in here. Or not pill cases, chem stations. Come on. Our looting goggles are on. Right from the start. Oh, they're coming through the outside. That's fine. Uh, ooh, cash registers might have some cash in it. The other thing we can do, we can head home. You know what? If we don't find much here in the first little bit. Actually, we should probably do that. I think their best bet of us finding a... Um... Oh, good. Just in time. We don't need the mining helmet on. We have the duster on. No, we don't. We got this on. 
All right, there we go. There's our heat problem. Heat problem solved. What are you banging on out there? You said we were going to try going this way this time. Oh, you're inside. Okay. Good night. Good night. Good night. Got an open door over there, which is nice. Good night. Oh, we got another live one right here. Nope. Thought I heard somebody over there. What are you banging on? someone from back here. Oh, there you go. Tex must have came in off the street. He has no idea what's going on. He does now. There you go! It's a doctor. Oh. Had a hard time standing up there, didn't you? Okay, do we have a pill case in here that we can get to? Don't see any pill cases. Okay, let's go in here. Oh, you... Why there was a bird hiding in there? I don't know. Oh, for Christ's sake. You made me wake everybody. Oh, there's some at the doors. Enjoying those spikes? Hope you are. Apparently he's not even noticing them. Can't even get my arrows back. Okay. The snake in one of these rooms. Can't see how passing out pills is very hard work. Okay, we got 50 arrows left. That's plenty, I think. Hoping. That's the courtyard. There's the snake. Let's just close that. I think that's the way we have to go, though. Ooh, we got a floorboard here. And we got a runner. All right, well, we weren't planning on waking everybody up, but... See if we can take care of this guy with a bow. Hey, 
There we go. Didn't have to wake anybody up. God, I can't hit snakes. Do we need... We don't need this. Uh... Ah, you're going to cause me problems, aren't you? Not anymore. Don't really need the snake meat. No, he didn't break that door. I opened it for him, right? I did. Okay. That's going to buy us a bit of time. Sleepers. I don't know if it's just the outside sleepers or if there's people in here. That's all barbed wire, so we have to go outside. Okay, well. Two of them are gone out there already and the snake's gone. I don't want to fire the shotgun off because I don't know if there's guys up on the roof that are going to jump down on us. Like, for the popping pills, it's fine, right? Like, you go in, there's one floor, pretty much. Fire the gun, they all come off the roof, they come everywhere, you just kill them all. But here, it's like, you have no idea where the hell they're all going to be. Looks like I'm going through backwards. Because the light is facing the other way. But whenever i ever done anything the normal way. Like, never. We, we got a doctor. I think we can get a uh, beaker of the vending machine. I'm thinking the be we, best bet might be to hit up the two traders. Wow, neither of these had blood in their head. They must have been dead for a long time. Yikes. Thank you for holding my arrow. Much appreciated. Yeah, last time I came in here... I came in through that window. I like the idea of... limiting the possible ways that the uh, zombies can get to you. So if you start off in a corner... or in a roof... Always do the basement last. Because the last thing you want to do is get trapped in a basement. I think this room is probably clear. Just a machine room, okay. <clears throat> and that's the basement. Um, all right. And the stairwell's been wrecked. So... We don't do things the normal way. I'm sure we have enough of this taken out so we can flee when we need to. <laughs> we carry any feather on us, feathers on us? We did not. Damn it. Normally I carry feathers. Okay, I'm thinking that's where we want to go in there, but let's clear this in case we have to resort to shotgun. We don't want all these guys coming up behind us. Take the headshots first if we can. Now we got the same guy.
Okay. It's nice of these guys to hold on to our arrows for us. I really appreciate that. I think I hear somebody sleeping. Now, you know what it is I'm hearing? Stupid rain outside. That's what I'm hearing. Oh, there would have been a way up that way. That would have made sense, huh? Okay, we'd have to bust our way through these places. That's the elevator shaft, I think. So let's go back in here. Oh, it's a gift shop. Shit. All right. I can't change weapons because I got that locked up. Let's wake him up. Well, good thing I cleared all those guys when I did. That would have been hairy. All right. Yeah, I think I'm thinking that the best bet is going to be to go to. Uh, I don't think there's anybody in here. I hear somebody, but I think that's outside. The best bet is going to be trying to heat up the traders. There's a safe here. Uh, let's see what's outside first, then we'll break the safe, and then we're going to go ahead to the traders. Well, we could go that way, but we're just really not finding what we need here. I think that zombie I'm hearing is actually outside the walls. Steel arrows? Nice. It's weird to uh, actually be liking the fact that I'm getting steel arrows. Now, I should just get rid of the stone ones and just be running with steel all the time, but scrap this. Let's use this. And we can scrap it. Uh, sure. Alright, let's go get out of here. We're going to go hit up the trailer. There's a couple of POIs by the trailer to uh, trader, so we're going to go hit those up as well just to see whatever's in them. Uh, let's get the leather here before we go. I don't really think we need a lot of leather, but... It's nice to have it. I mean, really, the only other place you can get it from is animals. And if you're not hunting, like we're not hunting right now, so if we need leather, better that we have it already so we don't have to go out and find it. Okay. Let's grab this stuff. And for the other limited number of pill cases that are in here, I just think that we don't bother. All right, let's get out this in case we run into somebody. Going to leave that couch. We don't need all that. How much leather do we have on us? 56. That's plenty for to do whatever we need to do. Okay. So I'm thinking that the, the first trader that we went to, we haven't visited him all that much. So I think we go visit him. Just to see. We're going to hit him up first. Just to see if he's got anything. Okay, we got a lumberjack on the road. Doesn't see us coming, and whoa! Finally, we get a good lumberjack. Okay, lumberjack number two. Oh, a head on, nice. Got a little bit of air. Yeah, we got a couple POIs who we can hit up here. Actually, I think this place right here across the street has the... Uh, I think that's got the uh, sawmill in it. All 
Let's go trade with this guy the good old-fashioned way. Actually, you know what I want to see? I want to see if this is respond. If the loot is respond, wouldn't that be nice? It has. Because we haven't been around here, right? So for stuff to respawn in seven days, it has to be an unhuman occupied area. Shotgun slug ammo. All right, well, six rounds. Not going to sneeze at that. Workbench is functioning. Got a munitions box up here. This is kind of a bonus. Oh, rockets. At some point we'll make a rocket launcher. I just don't know when. Ah, four coins. That works. So I started a game where I was planning on just building like a big fort. And uh, I was 2.1 kilometers away from the trader at start, and I thought, all right, I'll just go to the traders really quick. I ran over to the traders. There's a house nearby that I that I um, set up my base in. And then, uh, um, as I'm out wandering around the next day, right down, because like, I was right between the green biome, the traders in the green biome. No loitering. I'm not loitering. And then right next to me is the burnt forest biome. And... Um, I thought, well, I'll just go water into the burnt forest by and down the street, see what's here. And what was there? Another trader. And I'm like, wow, okay, two traders down the road from each other. Seen that before. So yeah, not, not such a big deal, but it's nice to have two traders right close to each other. Anyway, so I went down the road the other way, and that went right into the snow biome. And what was there? A third trader. All on the same road. It was like, what? <laughs> All right, you don't have a beaker. Uh, let's hang on to the rocket ammo. Why not? It's not like he has anything we want. Structural braces, wood splitter we have. Iron boots we can make. We could buy the... Well, we don't have any money to buy the rocket ammo. Um, nothing there. We could buy ammo. Yeah. Helmet light mod. Empty shopping cart. Yeah. All or right. Well, something else. no, because you ain't got shit, man. Nothing. I know there's stuff underneath here, but we're not going down there. We're going to go over and hit the other trader just to see if he's got anything. I should have checked to see when this guy restocks, but I'm sure the other trader will tell me. Oh, yeah. Sawmill. Now, I don't think I can actually pick up the sawmill. That's the problem. Let's wake him up. Or you can just stay sleeping. That works. Yeah, there it is right there. So if we need it, we got it. Ooh. Who the hell needs... Uh... Oh, the door's gone. I was trying to close the door. I'm like, why isn't the door closing? The hell needs steel arrows, man. Take somebody's head off like that. Check this car out. Well, it really sucks that we couldn't get that final beaker. Tomorrow's going to have to be for making sure the base is ready to go. I, you know what? I think it is ready to go. We'll hit up POIs tomorrow. I don't know. Maybe, uh, you know what? We should make some Molotovs. When we get home, we'll make a few Molotovs. Let's just use this up. I'm thirsty. Uh, yeah, we're really overloaded. Um, we've already been through here, right? Yeah, we've seen all this area. So let's go this way, just in case there's something over here. I don't think there is, but 
There might be. We might get a couple more uh, lumberjacks on the way. Ah, oh, here we go. Lining them up, lining them up, and... Ah, uh, not bad. Oh, we got a deer. Waste not, want not. And we don't have anything to hack it up with besides this. And of course, we are, oops, right, this one, we are out of space. Let's just drop some stuff in the bike here. Love how it bounces towards you, it's cool. All right. Have we hit up this passing gas yet? I don't think we have. Time to hit up the passing gas, guys. But let's make sure. Come on. Come on. Interact with bike. Interact with bike. Let's go. Storage. Let's drop this stuff in here. Sure. Well, at least the garage door is open. You know there's going to be somebody up there. Oh, it'll be a duffel bag. Got somebody right here. I was hoping to hit him in the foot. Well, you always ruin my plans. Wake up, Mo. Oh, for crying out loud. Stop hitting the cash register. Don't want to push in too much farther. I don't know if there's anybody else there. What? Like Big Mama. Paid for that, Big Mama. My arrow's back. And clear. Now we got a safe. Some coolers. A little bit of beer. Passing gas crate. Okay, that's nice. Get this safe in a minute. Let's get the pass gas crate. Maybe we get a battery bank. No. Just close that while we break this open. Yeah, there we go. I hear a zombie outside too. Ah, really? Maybe we can sell that compound bow. Um, we got a ton of papers. I don't know whether you're a... Oh, you're a walker. Oh! Why do they always get back up? I'll never know. Just stay down. Oh, hubcap landmines. Okay, cool. That's one thing we didn't make is landmines. I didn't want to have to make them. We did find some. Somebody else is outside. Oh, it's a big boy. Uh, we need a wrench, because we want to wrench this thing apart. But let's go take out this guy out here. Oh, it's a cop! <laughs> Screw you! Make sure he's dead. Oh, we got a wandering horde. Baseball bad time. We got three levels today. I think it was three. Stay down. Stay down. 
Stay down. Please just stay down. No, you don't want to listen. That's what happens. Alright, what do we drop over here? Oh, stone arrow. Uh, what else do we got? Duffel bag with nothing. See, we have our looting goggles on. I don't really find the loot to be that much better. Like, we have looting at plus 150, so I don't know what that means. There's no way to tell. No way to tell what that means. Take that. Let's go. Ooh, more paint. So, we gotta paint stuff at some point, but I wanna do it after the Horde Night to see what remains of the building. And I think what we'll do. I've been thinking about what we're going to do after the Horde Night. Because we got another 30 days before the next one comes, right? Most likely, what I'll end up doing is build a fort around where the first layer of spikes are. With walls, so that we can walk along the walls and fire the zombies. And then if they break into the inner compound, it'll be filled with spikes. Um, we'll get some spike traps, like, uh, what do you want to call it? Dart traps going, blade traps, all kinds of stuff. And most likely that, that next Horde Knight will be insane with uh, radiated zombies and all kinds of stuff. Okay, let's get home. Take this stuff inside. It's 6 o'clock. we got four hours till nightfall. We haven't really hit up the fire department yet either. And I should check. I mean, maybe tomorrow we check the POIs around the house just to clear all the zombies again. Hey, I didn't hit, didn't hit the second door this time. I'm getting good. Not really, but... Alright, let's bring you in. Don't think we're going to be going back out in the motorbike today. So let's pull it around here. I'll fuel it up at night. I gotta decide where this sucker is going to end up being. I might leave it like right here by these doors. So that if we do get pushed back inside and we need to get out of here, we can just get on the bike and ride out of here. Alright, let's drop this stuff off that we have on us. You know what? We never did. We never hit, did hit up that second trader. Um, you know what? Let's empty the bike out first. We'll go back over and hit up the second trader. Oh, come on. We got some stuff we can probably sell them. I think you'll buy a bunch of our stuff again. Because I think it's, uh... Um, he's, he's, um, restocked. So, okay, I'm just going to drop this stuff off, then we'll head over there. Alright, so we've got a bunch of stuff we can sell. Uh, let's just quickly head over there. Because we got to pick up our gunpowder, too. I did forget about that. we got two and a half hours. we got lots of time. Yeah! Let's grab the gunpowder first. Actually, no, let's go to Trader Joel's first because he closes pretty soon. Um, so let's just get right over there. I really hope he's got a beaker. I brought all my money with me, just in case. But I mean, having that, that uh, alchemy still close by is actually a good thing. I mean, it's not too far away, so... Alright, Joel, let's see what you got. It's going with a shotgun pulled out. Sean, we mean business. Alright, buddy. What you got for me? Anything in here? Nope. Can I see your inventory? Give me a beaker. Mattress? Ooh. We definitely need that, eh? Air conditioner... I think we've already been through... I think this is the same... Uh, snowberry extract. Maybe it isn't. Shades. Rebar frames. Trigger plates. Blade trap. One thing we don't have to make if we get that. Lucky goggles. Doesn't look like there's anything there. And here... No beakers. Uh...
Ooh, magazine extender. Let's buy that. Uh, let's start selling this stuff now. All right, we've got a few things. You didn't want to buy any of our other guns. Um, got the magazine extender, tools, traps, or anything we want here. Nothing. Got 160 gunpowder. Cost us 320. Sure. Um, repair kits we can make easily enough. Cobblestones. Oh, this stuff we got. Bullet tips. 420. And bullet casings. Sure. Um, uh, electric wire relays. We can make a lot of this stuff. Blade trap. Let's buy that. Just one thing I lost. I have to build. AC unit. Should we buy an AC unit? Not that it's actually going to do anything. Um, crappy sofa. This is the kind of stuff that you can't actually make in the game. You got to kind of buy it. Um, but we'll worry about that later. Oh, I will. Oop, not this way. I know where I'm going. Don't worry, Joel. All right, let's go get our um, the gunpowder that we made, which was actually less than the amount that we bought. Oh, man, watch out for the rocks. That thing just came out of nowhere. Do you see that? It just rolled right in front of me. Oh, yeah, we got to go in here still, too. Maybe we hit this place up tomorrow. Just for fun. Just for, just for shits and giggles. Because I think we're we're well prepared for the whole horde night. Let's get our uh, stuff out of here. There it is. Another 300 gunpowder. We got three more at home, so we got 303 gunpowder. I'll probably make a few shotgun rounds with it and 7.62 rounds. But we're going to have the SMG. We're going to have the AK. I mean... If they destroy this base, then, uh, I don't know. Then I did something wrong. We got another 20 spikes to lay down around that post there on the uh, right-hand side. And then I think we're ready. I think I might lay, if, I don't know. I don't think we need to lay spikes on the inside. I don't think they're going to get in. We'll make some Molotovs tonight once we get inside. And then tomorrow we'll clear up any broken spikes on the outside, get those ready to go. Damage this a bit more. Easy rider. Alright, park the bike here. Most likely we won't, we won't use the bike tomorrow. We'll probably go around on foot. Alright. Just in case we need, for whatever reason, to fight the horde on the bike. It's unlikely, but... You never know, right? Uh, okay, so let's drop in all the stuff that we didn't sell in there. Got a little bit more ammo back. Not much, but a little bit. We got a lot of... We can make a lot more rounds here now, too. Uh, I'm going to have to make a chest, I think, specifically for traps. Yeah. So let's get the AK out because um, I definitely want to put the magazine extender on this. Magazine size 45. Nice. Perfect. Excellent. Okay, so that's going to be ready to go. Most likely I'll wear the military gear just because, you know, we want to look like military-ish as possible. I think this helmet's better than the SWAT helmet. Six armor. Oh, ten armor. Minus 0.5 seconds stamina. This one's got l l greater stamina de decrease. 416. We got lots of uh, repair kits here, so we can repair all this stuff. Oh, I don't think we can, actually. I think we need like military fiber to repair this, and I can't remember how to make it to figure that out. All right, and we've got 300. So let's make some Molotovs. Um, Molotov cocktail. We need gas cans, oil, glass jars, and cloth fragment, and we have a ton of all of them. So let's get some glass jars, because we have tons. 
um, tons of cloth fragment, tons of oil. We're not. I'm not going to make that many Molotovs, I don't think. Maybe like, I was going to say 20, but maybe we make 30. Um, what else do we need again? Gas cans, which we have a crap ton of. All right, let's see how many we can make here. Let's make them in the workbench so we don't have it on us. So that's got to go out tomorrow. I might put these down just to see, see what they do. So, um, Molotov cocktails, how many can we make here? Do it in the workbench. How many can we make? 34, let's just make 30. There we go. So we'll have some Molotovs to whip around. I mean, if the, if the Horde Knight's going really, really well tomorrow, which I got a feeling we'll be okay on, um, we might come out the back door and just stand and throw Molotovs down on them and just see what they do and have some fun with that. Let's put these back on. Um, yeah, but for now, we're going to end it here, guys. That is the end of day 29. Tomorrow will be day 30. And the Horde will be coming. We will be ready for them. Got our doors in. Uh, everything is in place. We just need to get um, some... We'll have to make sure we have forged iron on us. Got lots of that here. Um, so that's good. We got concrete um, already made, so that's good. Um, what else did we need to make? Uh, let's make... You know what? Uh, where are we here? Let's just drop... Actually, pull this out for now. Pull these out, because we're going to need these tomorrow. Let's get... Um, you know what? I'll make the iron bars tonight. We're going to end the episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Alright, so until next time, we'll see you all later.